Okay, ladies. Okay. Alright, we had a few. Uh, I wanted to do this before my first training, but that is okay. I will do it now. So, move this up a little bit and then uh, get going. Oh, the fun part's waiting. I gotta get these done. Alright. So I'm just gonna get going. Uh, you guys can watch the, the replay. Anything like that. So, one of the biggest things with what we do is why we started. Why did you join? Why did you want to be a part of this? Why did the opportunity speak to you. You want to make sure that you never lose sight of your why because originally your why is what builds the base of your company. It's what builds the base of who you're going to be. It's going to build the base of your future. You need to make sure you always know why you started and you never lose sight of that. Um, so a little back on me. Uh, for you guys that don't know me, I know my team sees enough of me every day, <laughs> but uh, for everyone that's on Charlene's team, uh, my name is Megan Duchak. I am an elite green status, and it's taken me a year to get there, but it's been an amazing journey to get there. I started uh, December 3rd, so this is my one year. I started December 3rd, and I started as a kidnapper. I wanted the makeup. I wanted the products. I literally had a year old CoverGirl mascara and an eyeliner that was this big in my makeup kit. And I seriously was dealing with um, a lot of postpartum when I signed up. I just had my son. He was, a, he, was, he was born in July, so June, July, August, September, October, November. So he was five months old when I, when I joined with Unique. So I was dealing with a lot of postpartum. And I seriously didn't even have enough energy or have enough drive to get myself out the door and go to Shoppers Drug Mart, which was only a 30-second drive up the street. I didn't want to do that. So I ordered it. And then... Um, I don't really know what clicked. I ordered it and I ended up going yellow status before my kit even arrived because for some reason I just, I harnessed all that energy into something productive and it pushed me to a point where I'm like, okay, well, if I'm stuck in the house doing this, if I'm stuck in the house, just whatever, in my, inside my own head, I might as well do something productive with it. So I'm not, I, I can't even tell you exactly sure what clicked, but I started running. And I hit yellow before my kid arrived, like a few days before my kid arrived. And then once I got the makeup, that was a whole new ball game. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I didn't even know how to apply the mascara properly. Um, it was a mess. I was a mess. It was just a complete joke, to be honest with you, after I got my kit. I was so overwhelmed and so discouraged, and I had no idea even where to start. But what I did know is I do have sales background. I did sales for years, years when I was working um, in the field, basically. But I just applied my sales background to what I was doing, and that helped me immensely. From there, I remember doing my first live video. Not my live, but we didn't even have live. So I remember doing my first video, my first why video. And I was in my bathroom sitting on the toilet. And I propped up my phone on my presenter's kit. And I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea what my why was. But we got challenged to do a why and I did it. So I put my phone up and I just talked about my why. And back then, my why was my family, was my kids, was uh, my anxieties, was a lot of things I kind of pulled out of my back end because I had no idea what it was. A year later, my whys have built my structure, my family, my kids, 
and my anxiety and my depression has built my structure in order to build an empire, if that makes sense. Yeah, Beth, you remember that. I was bad. It was bad. Um, I had a point where, like, I wouldn't come out of my room. I wouldn't eat. I wouldn't shower. I was... Postpartum hit me hard. Hard after Liam. And I was a wreck. Um, I had no idea what I was doing, but I faked it till I made it. And my whys back then, like I said, were my kids, were my family. They built my structure. They built my base. And over the year, my whys have changed. My whys are still my kids. My why is still my family. And that's always going to be the base of what I'm doing. But over the year, it's been a year, my why has turned into you guys. My why is my girls, my team, my family. Seeing you guys step outside your comfort zone. Seeing you guys do a live video or posting and messaging people. Those, those reasons alone are why I'm pushing so hard now. I've built my base. Now it's time to help build my structure. And you guys are, you guys are my structure. And your team is going to be your structure. And I look at you guys just in complete awe. And I find myself reading through your posts and reading through your, your, and watching your videos and being like, oh my God, you told me a week ago you couldn't do this. And now look at you. I am completely completely blown away by each and every one of you for everything that you've overcome, everything that you've pushed yourself towards. That is now my why. Your why is going to evolve. You'll start with something simple, like your family, something that's close to you. And over time, your whys are going to evolve. Your whys are going to change and they're going to blossom and they're going to completely overwhelm you to the point where you know what I can't stop I can't stop doing this there's no way there's no way I can stop running my business and running my team and building my empire for my family my daughter told me today I was getting ready and she came into the bathroom and she's like mommy you have so much makeup she's like I wish I had a makeup business like you did like you do sorry she's only three and a half years old that tells me right there and then that my three and a half year old daughter is watching me, watching me work, watching me do my makeup, watching me helping people. So I'm not just helping other women. I'm also helping my daughter realize that mommy's working. Mommy's doing something important as well. Mommy is making sure that we have something good going on with our family and she this is the first time I've ever heard her say that to me mommy I wish I had a makeup business like you you can't quit after that you can't you can't you just kind of gotta find if you want to quit you gotta find that why again your why is what's going to push you forward and this is why everyone's talking about Make sure you have a why. Make sure you find your why. Make sure you share your why. Jump on your live page and do a live video. Um, I need to do that again. It's uh, It's been a while and I need to do a main page why video. But I kind of want to just quickly jump on here with you guys um, and share that with you. It's been a very rocky road. It's not been easy. I Like I said, I came into this with uh, marketing and sales background, but I came into this with no makeup, no makeup background whatsoever. I played hockey for 12 years, um, lacrosse for eight years. I wore a bandana and mascara, which I had no idea how to apply, but I went with it. And I learned, I watched videos, I learned, I mimic people. With our uplines, they say, don't don't feel like you have to recreate the wheel because we've already done it for you. But with me telling you this, yes, they've already recreated the wheel, but um, you can expand and better the wheel. So figure out how to do that. Find out a better way to invent the wheel that's going to expand your business, which is going to expand yourself um, and your company and go from there. Uh, 
we did this training group to make sure that everybody has the tools that they need to succeed. I want to see every single one of you guys succeed. And I want to see every single one of you guys believe in yourself and love yourself and just rock yourself no matter what anybody else thinks of you because you're going to have that negativity. You have to block it out. You have to block it out and just believe in what you are capable of doing. Because every single person is capable of doing what they put their mind to. You just have to believe in yourself. That's the number one thing. I don't care if my family doesn't believe in me or my friends don't believe in me. It, it's not their business. It's not their future. It's not their life. They have their own shit to worry about. Let me deal about mine and go from there. So on that note, um, kids are sleeping. Uh, I'm not very an emotional person. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a rock, uh, a little hard ass, as the girls on my team could probably tell you. I'm a little bit of a hard ass. It's just who I am. And uh, I love you all. And I'm so glad to uh, be a part of this with you guys and so glad to, to be a part of your journeys and part of your growth and just to see you guys blossom and completely just shock yourself because you're going to shock yourself. Um, it's the best part of this business. The completely best part of this business is to be able to believe in yourself to the point where you're like, holy shit, I did this. Holy crap, I did this. Because you can do it. And you will do it. So, have a great uh, Friday. Uh, enjoy the last uh, little bit of Christmas shopping. Because uh, I have to start my Christmas shopping tomorrow. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. So, thanks again guys for watching. Um, I see a couple ladies joining late. Just rewatch the replay. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Get ready for Charlene's live tomorrow. I'm excited for Charlene's live tomorrow. <laughs> See you guys.